Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about uh, WEP, the Wide Equivalent uh, Privacy Protocol. Um, it is weak and vulnerable and it's no longer widely in use, but it's still important to know the attacks as you may still find it in the wild. A simple search on wiggle.net to your surprise will still bring up um, someone that's obviously still using this protocol somewhere. Uh, it's important to know the theory behind it. So please do invest some time reading about it. But today is not about the theory. It's actually about attacking the web protocol to recover the key. Let me get a sip of water. Right, yo, let's get started. So the first thing we we'll gonna do is check the list of available Wi-Fi network interfaces on the machine. Uh, a couple of ways to do this. I prefer ID, uh, IW uh, config. I could spell <coughs> and we can see there's two um, uh, network interfaces we've got there um, WLAN 0, WLAN 1 um, as you can see the mode for both of them is showing as managed now we want to change that to monitor mode uh, the quickest way to do that is uh, mon ng WLAN 0 Oh, got to put the start in there. I still got to start it. Spelling is terrible today. And that seems to have, as you noticed, it's now changed to WLAN 0 MON. So we're going to have to use that going forward. Um, next, we're going to run the AeroDump on WLAN 0 MON interface to view all the networks that are present. Uh, on the 2.4 gigahertz band so let's just clear this so it's a bit more uh, nicer aero dump ng ng wno mon let's see what we've got and you can see here is channel hopping collecting all the data and just throwing it on your screen we've got the bssid uh, power beacons data channels and we've got the encryption ciphers here and then the ESSIDs since this is about web this one stands out like a sore thumb um, when it comes to this section here where it says uh, PWR power the lower the number the better right and the stronger the signal um, as I said this is about web so we've already seen our web target is here right um, and it's running on channel 6 and we've got the BSS ID so what we want to do is as I said this is channel hopping right let's just make this more specific to what we're looking for so what I normally do is I'll just copy the BSS ID we already know it's on channel 6 so if I just stop that and run aero dump again for that specific BSS ID channel 6 dash C for channel let's write this out let's call it uh, web date underscore we've got to put in the interface so what we've got here we're doing aero dump oh bloody hell i've forgotten something there that would mean a an error straight away it's aero dump dash ng and it's uh, fantastic aero dump ng to put the p back in um we've got the bssid uh, which is dash dash bssid and then you enter the uh, mac address here uh, channel six as i previously mentioned and we're going to write this data out the file name there and the interface name let's see what we get perfect so now this is just focusing on this particular one here as we can see there is a client connected to this AP. Right, to crack web, we need around 10,000 data packets. And as you can see here, the data is moving very, very slowly. So what we want to do, we can speed things up by using something called Air Replay. All right, let's see what Air Replay is. Airplane B dash dash help. So we're going to use 
app replay standard app request replace we're going to send app packets app request packets is going to generate new data or speed things up is exactly what we want um for this it's going to require the uh, bss id and also it's going to require the source mac address uh, which we both information we've got here so we're going to take the station and the bss id let's just copy that let's fill out let's clear this screen um actually let's go back i do need to check something quickly it is a dash three i think yeah dash three perfect clear uh replay that's the dash three uh dash b and this is oh goodness me that's just completely copied the wrong thing let's just go back to this screen let's copy that in there let's stick in a dash h in front of that and then we need the name of the interface and that should do the trick oh what about if i spelt it correctly right perfect so it's now clicking the packets if you look on this screen here you can see the data is really starting to jump up same with the beacons and it's exactly what we want now we need about ten thousand packets but i personally like to collect about 30 or forty thousand um sometimes you may find that you've collected ten thousand we need to go and run air crack there might not be enough uh, IVs there for you to recover the key for the sake of an extra minute or two just just hang fire wait till you've got about oh, oh, 30 40,000 um and then and then you can you know have a good crack at it instead of having to collect 10,000 and go back to the drawing board it's better just to wait and let's see if this won't take long at all so we've got a huge amount of data there now I think that should be enough to be honest with you yeah so let's stop that running next we're going to use air crack um, to recover the key so air crack ng what was the name of the file that we saved it as web data was it yeah web data is going to be a dot cap file um, and let's run that and let's see if we can crack this and get the key it's testing it's testing is it gonna throw up an error no it's not gonna fantastic we've found the key and for this challenge this was the particular key really hope you've enjoyed this um like i said it's is just a really quick introduction at, about attacking the web protocol um do further reading on it get a better understanding of it uh, but thank you very much for your time and I hope you've enjoyed it.